Students at Duke University are taking their design skills into space. They recently launched two weather balloons in Hillsboro. If that doesn't sound interesting enough, they even attached a GoPro camera to the balloons to record their journey. There's some of the footage right there. WNCN meteorologist Kristen Ketchell has the story. Three, two, one. We launched two weather balloons into the lower atmosphere. A huge accomplishment for one group of Duke engineering students who began their project with one goal, to collect weather data from high altitudes while learning to work as a team. The whole purpose of the class was to have these different subgroups in our team of 12 people all working on different parts of the project. Their teamwork paid off and the launch was a success. The launch itself went very smoothly. One of our balloons popped just below 100,000 feet and the other reached over 120,000 feet. This was a homemade antenna. These students built much of the equipment launched by the weather balloons themselves, spending countless hours perfecting their designs. I'd say collectively, you know, with 12 people working on the two balloons, it, it easily was over 500 hours. And they had to consider many environmental factors as the balloons traveled more than 20 miles into the atmosphere, like harsh temperatures and wind. After the balloons popped, their equipment was recovered more than 100 miles from their launch location. This one landed in a bog out in eastern North Carolina. And now comes the analysis of the weather data. All the data right here is 12,000 lines of data that we collected. And although it may be tedious, these students are eager to share their findings. We set up a website and we're hoping basically to just publish it as open source material if anyone wants to take a look at that data and use it for any of their projects in the future. And they're excited to continue their research. It was a lot of fun. The hope would be to launch another one sometime in the near future. I'm Kristen Ketchell, WNCN News Now.